Hello guys, how are you? This is Kathy and welcome back to my channel, Kathy's Favorite Things. Happy Tuesday and happy Tea Tuesday actually. And today's Tea Tuesday is sponsored by my sweet friend Patty, Life with Patty, who is also my co-host in this open collaboration. And this tea was sent to me by her. It's tea cane, or I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's how it looks. I'm gonna put it up close so you can see. And it says cherry and berry, cherry and black currant. And so it smells really yummy. So, uh, and it looks pink. Look, smells delicious, you guys, so fruity and um, it's still a little bit hot so i'm gonna let it cool down a little bit i'm using this cup today it's pink on the inside and it has a k in gold and it has some beautiful flowers at the bottom this was gifted to me by my friend leslie from um uh, what was her channel name oh i don't remember at the moment but i will link it below um, so thank you so much, Leslie. I remember only a part of her channel name, so I'm going to link it below because I'm subscribed to her, so I will link it, okay? So you can go check her out. And today I have some um, winnings from a hidden giveaway that I won from California Karen, 789. Karen has an amazing channel. She does a lot of different things. She's really good at karaoke and she, uh, the other day I uploaded a video that I enjoyed very much. She seemed like she was having so much fun and I haven't done karaoke in a long time. So that put me in the mood of singing. So maybe one of these days I will talk to my friends and do that. Maybe I will even record the piece. I have a friend that likes singing and she has all sorts of microphones and she has in her basement an area where she sings a lot. So we usually get together and do singing. So, uh, but I haven't in a long, long time it, before COVID started, I think was the last time. So these are my winnings from Karen. Again, California Karen 789. Go check her out. Her channel link is going to be down below. And this was a fall um, giveaway and it was a, a hidden giveaway. And she did send a card in here. So I'll show you the card and it says, thank you. Look how beautiful that card is. It's like in the purples. It's really pretty. And it says, Kathy, congrats on your win. Thanks for your support of my YouTube channel. Hugs, California Karen 789. She put a smiley face. And again, please go check her out. Go subscribe to her if you haven't and show her some love and support, okay? And so let me show you what my winning was. It was super cute when I saw her show this. Even though I'm not crazy about fall, I do have some decorations uh, for fall, you know, some of the Dollar Tree signs. So, but this is super pretty, so I'm gonna put it in my front door. Look at this. It says scarecrow. It says hello fall. Look, I love the way it looked. It had this sunflower here. I think the secret word that you have to put in the sentence was sunflower. So um, it has a sunflower there. That's the other eye. Look at that. And it says hello fall. Super cute. Oh, it broke here, but I will fix it. You know, the post office is super rough when handling things, but I have um, E6000 and all sorts of uh, glues, so I will fix it. Thank you so much, Karen. I love it. It's such a beautiful sign. So I will take care of that and then put it on my outside door, one of my outside doors. And I also wanted to show you today some things that I got from Cracker Barrel. On Sunday, my husband, myself, and Augustine, we went to Cracker Barrel for um, brunch. It was like a late breakfast, but not lunchtime yet. It was like around 10 a.m. So we went to Cracker Barrel. We like to go there. We usually go like once a month. Um, usually, once a month, we go there. And every time we go, we end up buying something. Augustine always ends up buying a toy. 
and I usually buy, you know, little things like knickknacks and things like that. And this time they had some super pretty pink decor for Christmas time. And I fell in love with this and I put pictures and you guys saw it. So I put a lot of pictures on my community posts. Sometimes I post, you know, things, reminders and things. Um, so I did post a few pictures on Sundays. I even post a picture of what I ate that day. So, um... Let me show you the box first. This is what I got. It's a reindeer. Look how pretty it's pink. It says nostalgic deer figurine. I didn't even open it. Uh, this is the first time I'm opening it uh, since I bought it. It says $7.99. It was the price. Plus tax, of course. Now let me take it out. I hope it's not broken or anything because, you know, it's Tuesday and I'm just opening this now. I have a pair of scissors here, which I'm going to use to cut the tape here to show it to you better because, you know, I need to open it uh, to see how it looks. And also I want you to take a look at it. It's so precious. It reminds me of Bambi and it's so it's like vintage looking. It's so beautiful. And the price was perfect. $7.99. It was not bad at all. I love buying stuff there. They have such beautiful things. And you know that Christmas is my favorite holiday and I start decorating in November. So yeah, I'm ready, you guys. Look how beautiful this is. Let me show it to you up close. Let me, okay. Look, and it's shiny. <laughs> you see? Oh my goodness, look at that. You see the shine on her body? And she's tangled up in some lights that moves. And she has a wreath. Look at that beautiful face. Oh, she's so precious. They only had the one in a box. They had this one and the other one that it was on display. Because uh, I wanted to buy two, actually. But I asked the lady and she said she, she couldn't sell me the one on display. I don't know why, but maybe because they're getting more. Uh, but yeah, so you only have this one left. I wanted two to have a couple, you know, because it's just so pretty. I will go back during the week and see if they received any more. But yeah, this is going to go somewhere, maybe on my mantle, on my fireplace. I don't know, but it's just so precious. I'm going to put her here so you can see. You see that? She's so beautiful. Okay. So that was the um, only thing that I really bought. And then um, as I was going to pay, I saw this um, nutcracker. And I just love nutcrackers. This was $2.99. None of it was on sale. I thought it was expensive because it's just plastic and you know the ornaments at walmart are like a dollar or a dollar 98 my husband said to me you know just buy it because you know he knows that i love um pink ornaments and i love nutcrackers and you know in case i don't find another one i wanted it for my christmas tree because my christmas tree has everything in white gold and pink so this is gonna go in my Christmas tree. Every year I try to buy a few new ornaments and add to my collection. So yeah, that's gonna go also on my Christmas tree. So that's a nutcracker. He has a cute face though. So let me see if you can see. He doesn't look scary or anything. So, you know, I think it was okay. There you go. I think the price was fine, but I'm gonna go back they didn't have a lot of things in pink. They had a beautiful, like a Christmas truck that I also posted on the community post. And it was like $59. And I'm like, oh, that's too much money for just a decoration that I'm going to put out just for Christmas. So I decided not to buy it. My husband said, you yeah, know, buy it if you want. But I'm like, eh, no. <laughs> I can buy so many ornaments with that amount of money. So I decided to just leave it. Let's try my tea. I think it's getting uh, cooler now. 
it's much better it's really yummy thank you so much patty for my tea i don't know if i said that at the beginning i always seem to forget but you guys all know we have been doing tea tuesday for a long time now it's been a few months um, so you know that tea tuesday is an open collaboration anybody that wants to join can join just use the hashtag which is the hashtag tea tuesday all in lowercase and just put it on the search engine and you will get all the other channels that are uploading so you don't have to post down in the description comment box just put the hashtag and everything will come up with that hashtag okay so that's what i like about it also um patty and i are doing the um collaboration for fall and halloween it's called halloween and fall collab that's the hashtag and we will be uploading on september not september october the 17th and we're gonna do it three weekends in a row on sundays so i hope you can join that collaboration and take a look at all our videos we have a big group of collaborators we're 17 people this time it was just you know we on the past few months we have been just accepting a certain amount of people because when you have too many people don't tend to watch all the videos and you know we want everybody to get the attention they need because you know they're putting effort in making their projects but since we're coming to the end of the year we decided that this time we were going to take everybody who was interested because we've had to say no to so many before because it's first come first serve so this time we accepted everybody but it's only going to be for this time uh, because it, we're almost at the end of the year and then we're going to continue with the smaller amount for the next uh, collabs unless it's an open collab like the one we're going to have on October the 25th that's going to be our uh, open collaboration which is hashtag Patty and Kathy's open collab and the prompt that Patty chose this time is butterflies and I did post a reminder also on the community post so you can go take a look at that, take a screenshot, and then you have all that information. You can post on any social media. So you can do uh, Instagram, you know, or YouTube or Facebook or anything and just use the hashtag. So uh, that's fun. And what I like about Open Collabs is that there is no pressure. You can do it if you want. If you feel like you don't want to do it, that's fine because you're not committed. You're not fully committed. You can even do it at the last minute because you can upload it any time of day. So even if you, you know, if you have to, let's pretend that tomorrow is the 25th and today you feel like, oh, I don't wanna do it, you know, it's, I'm not interested. But then tomorrow you wake up and you start watching all the videos from everybody and you feel inspired and you make your project or whatever last minute, you can, you know, you can still join because you have the entire day to do it. So that's fun about it too. You know, I like that, it's no pressure, so yeah. And there are so many things happening at the moment, so many collabs, so much inspiration out there. Oh my goodness, everybody's doing something new. There are so many paper collections out there. I'm enjoying working with the uh, 31 from Frank Garcia, the Prima. And I also have the Christmas paper that I ordered from Prima, which is uh, Christmas Sparkle, I think it's the name. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. So vintage looking in the colors that I love, which are like, the light blue, you know, the Tiffany blue and the pinks and the golds. And oh my goodness, I'm just having so much fun. I just love it, you guys. So I hope you're also loving the projects that I have been uploading. Even though I've been saving a lot of videos, I've been making, 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 recording, 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 and saving because I have collabs coming. I have also a collaboration with uh, Wanda. It's an ATC... ATC card challenge I think it is a Halloween ATC card challenge so I made that and I already recorded my video and I have to upload it so you know I've been super super busy trying to get all my commitments done and the time is I don't have a lot of time but you know I'm trying to stick to all my commitments so and I'm also having a lot of fun getting all my entries for my birthday challenge you guys so if you're not entering or you are not aware of my birthday challenge, I'm going to link that video below. You can enter. You still have time till October the 31st. And you have to send just a few little things. 
and you will be entering and I have three prizes, $50, 30 and 20. So I hope you join. I also wanted to remind you that October is a breast cancer awareness month and I'm doing a giveaway, a pink giveaway for breast cancer awareness month. And I also wanted to remind you to go call your doctor and ask for your order for your mammogram and ultrasound. I get both because I have issues and I have had issues in the past. So they do both. They do the mammogram and the ultrasound and I get it done every six months because I've had issues in the past. But uh, I mean, if you are new to this, you can just request your mammogram and depending on what they tell you, then the doctor will send you to have also an ultrasound. Okay, so don't forget to do that. Also, October is Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness. I think that's the specific name. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on the name, but you know, that in that group, you get the stillbirth, the miscarriages and all of that. And I've also gone through that in my life. <laughs> I've gone through so much. My husband and I, Augustine's father and I, we, when we got married, we started trying, you know, to have a baby like a year after we got married. And we got pregnant pretty quickly the first time we started trying and i was pregnant for like three months we were so excited we told everybody we told my oldest son we told my family his family we you know we took a few tests and they all came back positive so we were super excited and then um i was like three months along or something and i lost the baby and we were just so sad and it was such a sad experience because we were just so excited and we had told everybody and you know and they usually tell you when you find out that you're pregnant don't tell anybody till you are like 14 weeks and i was like telling everybody right away so we lost the baby and then uh we were super sad and the doctor said that we had to wait you know and they asked me if i wanted to go through this procedure will they take everything out or if i wanted to do it on my own and I decided to just do it on my own because, you know, that was, I was sad enough. I didn't want to go through that procedure, you know. So he gave me a medicine and I got rid of that, uh, whatever I had inside my belly. And um, when we started trying again, it was like another year later. And it took us like a year to actually get pregnant after that. Um, when we started trying the second time so it was it's terrible you know and uh, if you went through something like that I feel your pain because it's something that you do not forget and I remember the second time when I actually got pregnant with Augustine and I told my family they didn't know if they were supposed to get excited or not because you know they were afraid also that this was going to happen again and i when i got pregnant with him i wasn't that young anymore also you know so it's you have higher risk and well he was born with autism so um but thing you know thank god he's uh, he has overcome all of that most of it and he's doing so 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 much better now so you know Everything happens for a reason and he's my rainbow and he makes me so happy. And I know that you're probably sick of listening <laughs> of me talk about my kids and all of that. But, you know, he just, he's, he's everything for me and he's all older brother also, you know, they're both my babies and I just, I couldn't see my life without them. You know, they, they give me so much joy and pride and joy and all of that so i'm sure that you all agree if you are mothers you know we all feel the same about our kids so you guys um uh, i hope you last week i mentioned this website it's called national national day i'm gonna link it below i linked it last week in the description comment box for you and you can check in that website what national day holiday is every day and they also have all the national holidays for every month so you know like i said it's national um october is breast cancer awareness month and also 
uh, Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. Um, all those, they have a, an even longer list. There are even more days that you can celebrate in October. So go check it out. It's really, it's really fun. We check it every day with Agastena and we see if we should celebrate any of those. So I hope you enjoy that discovery that I did and you go check out that website. Okay, you guys. And sorry, I kept you here for so long and it was a long chat, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I didn't bore you. And I just want to wish you a happy Tea Tuesday and I hope you're having a wonderful day, you guys. I love you. Love you, love you. Sending you big hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.